Hey YouTube, this is Yumi Yahoo Weeps. Um, I am going to be reading a poem. And I'm just going to start. A little bit of indulgence with words that might be clear now that my life is over. All the work and the years and tears and the pouring out given to futility. There's not much left, just this broken husk and dreams of a past, if only. I had so much to give. We could have conquered this world with its mad and vast absurdity. But you decided I wasn't worth it, and you threw me away. But even more, you, the ultimate one and only. I would have gone deep. We could have found the treasure of love past this world's delusion. But he didn't see fit, and he threw me away. You're just an emphasis of his point. So now I'm here, and my life slips away, now that the dream is over. This is not for you, my love, but only empty air now that my life is over. I'm going to do a little commentary, so if you don't want to listen to it and you just want to uh, hear the poem, you could stop the video now, but I'm going to do my own personal little commentary on this. Um, when I wrote this, to me, there's two ways of looking at things. Well, two ways that I, I'm thinking of with this. There's the experiential way, and there's the way according to what I know to be true. Um, and a lot of my existence right now, the two are in direct opposition. What my experience tells me directly contradicts a lot of what I know to be true. Um, I know to be true that the Creator, Yah, loves me. I know this is true. I know it's true like I know that there is a sun that shines on the earth, that gives light on the land, that there's day and night, um, that I'm laying down right now. I know these things are true. Um... It would be easier for me to deny those things than to deny that the Creator, Yah, loves me. So there's a lot of His truths that I know are true. There's no way around it. But my experience so often contradicts this. Um, I'm not the smartest person in the world. Don't claim to be. I'm just trying to figure things out. I'm just trying to get through life and figure things out as best I can. Um, and this world is so often, to me, a world of confusion and difficulty. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. So when I say that he threw me away, that's the way it looks to me, and that's the way it feels. Although I know that it can't actually be that way because of the reality of who he is and the reality of his truths. Um, I know that he loves me, and I know that he has good things in store for me, even though everything about my reality and everything about my experience directly contradicts that. Um, so I'm hoping this brings some clarity, because I wrote this poem from the perspective of my experience, not necessarily um, the perspective of things that I know to be true. Um, and I think that actually, I'm hoping that it will be actually an encouragement to someone, that they can relate to what I wrote and relate to other videos of mine and see that... Um, the difficulties that we have in life are to be expected, 
and that if you're having difficulties like that, if you're having confusion, if you feel like you don't know what you're doing, because I most of the time feel like I don't know what I'm doing, and I am just, um, I feel like pretty much all I have is that um, the Creator is going to be there for me and He's going to lead me home because I, I feel lost a lot of the time, a lot of the time. Um, but I'm hoping that this will be an encouragement because if you have that kind of dichotomy um, going on with you like I do, I mean, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but if you have the dichotomy that what your experience, your experience directly contradicts things that are true, because my experience uh, is not one of feeling loved or feeling uh, necessarily cared for, um, but I know that those things are true, that he does love me and he cares for me. Um, so if you have the experience that you're, uh, if you have um, where your experience contradicts truth, I'm hoping that this is something that you can relate to and that you can be encouraged in some way and know that you're not alone in your experience. I'm sure there are other people, uh, not just me, that you're not alone in. But um, yeah, so when I wrote that, um, that he threw me away, I wrote it a couple times in that poem actually. There's, that's my experience, and it's not necessarily what I see lining up with the truth of his reality, which is more real. His reality is more real than my experience. Um, but I see that poem as kind of a psalm, um, a pouring out of my heart to him, and that's the way I see pretty much all of my poetry, any poetry that I write is a pouring out to him, pouring out of my heart to him. And I trust him with it. I don't trust many people with it, but I trust him with it because I know that um, that even now where I feel like he's just afflicting me and he's just ruined my life and he's thrown me away and he's crushed my dreams and he's crushed my body and he's crushed my mind, and he's devastated my life. I know that even in those things, that he is loving, even though I can't see it or feel it, I know that it's true. And I know that he's going to do good things, even though um, experience strongly denies that truth. But it's true whether my experience denies it or not. So, um, Yeah, yeah, so hopefully this is, uh, hopefully this, um, commentary is beneficial in some way to hear. At least it, it, hopefully it at least clarifies where I'm coming from with writing the poem. So, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you got something out of it, and I hope that you have a very good day or night or whenever you watch this. And um, shalom, goodness, and wholeness to you, which I know is going to happen because the Creator is who He is. He is love, so He must love everyone that He creates. So even if He has created them for uh, a not-so-pleasant purpose, I know He loves them. And he says that he will rescue all people, which he will do. So I know that it's not just me. I know that the Creator will do good to you regardless of whatever happens in this life. Regardless of whatever your experience is. Which I'm glad about because I may have difficulty with various people many times in my life. But I'm glad to know that the Creator loves them and will rescue them and has good in store for them whatever is going on. So, shalom, have a good uh, day, night, evening, morning, whenever you watch this. Au revoir, auf Wiedersehen, bon voyage. Shalom, bye.